Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done a tech tutorial uh, for you guys. Uh, in the time between this video and the last video, I have rebuilt my set here or my office. So I have, you know, it looks much better than it has in previous videos. It's not done yet. And you guys can see some of my equipment. I got this cool screen behind me. I've got some lighting coming in and I've still got some trim work and a ceiling to put up, but it largely looks much better than it did in previous videos. So I have spent a lot of time off camera uh, trying to make these videos better for you guys. I have better audio, um, working on getting a better camera so that it looks, you know, much clearer rather than just using my 4K webcam here, uh, which I don't really like how it looks and I'm getting some more lighting. So I am putting some effort into getting these videos back out to you guys and making it look more professional. Uh, with that being said, that is not the topic for today's video. Today's topic is replacing your certificate uh, bindings in IIS uh, when your certificate has expired. So let's jump over to our IIS machine here. We're using our lab-UTL01 VM. And the first thing that we need to do, um, we'll need to highlight, we'll need to jump into the IIS manager and we will need to highlight our server. So lab-UTL01. And we'll come over here to certificates, uh, server certificates. And we'll double click that. Now, this is the cert we're going to be using today. It is a self-signed cert. I don't have a third-party cert for this, and I'm not buying one just to, you know, just to do a, a demo with. Uh, if you had one, you would go through the import process, etc. Um, I'm again, I'm just purely showing you how to change the cert on an IIS website. So, my cert's already been created. It's a, it's a you know, just a self-signed cert, not the way you would do it if you were, you know, if this were a public facing website, it's not, it's purely just for test. So uh, come over to your default website after you've imported your new certificate. And on the right-hand side in this action column, we want to click on the binding settings here because you have to bind your new certificate to the web page that you want uh, IIS to use the certificate for. So we'll come down here. You can see the host name is lab-utl01 on port 443, and we'll click edit. Down here is where you'll tell it what certificate to use. So I just have a couple of self-signed ones here for test purposes. But if you were to import a brand new certificate from somebody like GoDaddy or uh, Network Solutions or any of those companies that do or VeriSign that do third-party SSL certificates, uh, once you've imported it, this is where you would change it. So just importing the certificate alone doesn't uh, it doesn't it doesn't uh, it doesn't update your certificate. So if you had multiple web pages and whatnot, this is where you'd have to go in and change the binding for each uh, each web page. So you would change your cert, click OK, click close, and that's it. It's very, very simple to change your uh, cert bindings in IIS. Very, very easy to do. Uh, quick, you know, it was a quick little video um, for you guys. So if you like it, please like and subscribe below. Leave me a comment, something you want to see. Uh, I am trying to work on getting some more uh, videos out. Need some ideas from you guys. Um, I do have some cool stuff coming. I've picked up some equipment off of eBay, which I'll probably have another video on once I get all of it in house here uh, to play with. So if you like it, please like and subscribe below. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you do. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video.